What's good guys? And if I don't sound like I'm excited right now, it's because I'm not. As you could probably read, as you read the title of the video, gotta get my wisdom teeth pulled early in the morning. And I'm fresh off the clock by the way. Still toe boot, still on. And guys, this had to be done because I don't know if any of y'all have dealt with tooth pain it's been a few years since I've even had to deal with anything related to my tooth, but not being able to sleep, having headaches, I mean, not being able to eat your food the right way, it ain't no joke. I ain't even go to the gym today. I didn't have the, the, the mental fortitude. Like, you, you got a headache, you can't do nothing. But I did go to work, you know, and I finally got it set up to where my appointment is, um, it's tomorrow morning, so <sighs> we'll see how that goes, man. I gotta get all four of my wisdom tooth pulled out. <sighs> Have any of y'all gotten y'all's wisdom teeth pulled out, man? How did you recover? What process did you go through? Help your boy out, man. Because tooth pain, I don't wish that on nothing. I'm trying to think, guys. I don't know if there's a pain worse than tooth pain. I mean, I've had stomach aches. Nobody likes those. You know, I've had, you know, sore throats, uh, your common, your common flu, sickness and stuff like that. I mean, but when you've got a tooth pain and a head, cause it's tooth and a headache. Like those are like nerves that run together in your, in your head. Like, <sighs> anyway, guys, we'll just have to see how it goes. All right, guys. So I know I look a mess right now. My mouth might be still swollen a little bit, but I was gonna bring y'all with me to the dental office, but guys, they had me sedated, which I've never been before. When they put that needle in you and you fall asleep, man, I was scared about that, man. I've been hearing too many stories on that, so. But things went good, guys. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, I did sleep good last night for the first time. Well, I slept better, because my mouth was still kinda, I couldn't really eat everything that I want to, couldn't really swallow, it was hard for me to, <clears throat> still kinda hard for me to move my mouth. But as far as the headaches go, man, guys, I've never felt a pain like that in my life. Like, I don't wish toothaches, headaches on nobody, because it is, this is a real deal, so. Hey, if you don't want no toothache, guys, do everything you can to protect your teeth. And, uh, but guys, like I said, I feel a lot better. I'm about to try to go to the gym right now. Um, I hadn't worked out in about two days, so I'm about to go ahead and try to go to the gym. And then on top of that, I'm fixing to come home and get back on these push-ups, man. Like, y'all know, you know, push-ups is uh, it's a good way to test your natural body strength. And my push-up game has fell off. But that goes to show you, when you don't do something for a long time, or if you take a break, or if you, you know, fall off for whatever reason, your power levels is going to go down too. So everything goes hand in hand, from push-ups, from working out, from eating right, from sleep, from getting your rest, from just taking care of your overall health, okay? And being that, being a natural bodybuilder, being a natural, uh, you know, making gains naturally, you got to make sure you perfect those things, guys. So... <laughs> Um, we'll just see. I'll let y'all, I'll keep y'all updated. And, uh, I'll probably end up doing, honestly, I'm gonna go to the gym and do whatever I feel like doing. I'm just going freestyling. So I might end up doing lower body. I might end up doing some upper body. And, uh, I'm fixing to come home and, uh, do some of these push-ups along with it. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So I just got back from the gym. And, uh, I'm fixing to just try to do as many push-ups as I can right now. Just as a one set to failure okay so if you guys watching this just see how many you can do one set to failure okay my battery is about to run dead so i'm gonna try to at least get at least 30 of these mad boys ready all right let's get it one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 
36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, oh, 50. All right, so we got 50. Woo! Hell, see, look, guys, I said I was trying to get 30. I ended up getting 50. That's why I say, God, there is a such thing as muscle membrane. I mean, muscle memory. So if you fall off, don't trip. If you go to the gym and you realize you can't do, you used to be able to do a 45 on each side or two 45s on each side, and you took a break off and you can't do it, don't trip. Okay. Muscle memory will come right back. Do what you can do and do what you can control. Because when you try to do more than you can, that's how you get hurt. And then on top of that, you're not making as many, you're not optimizing your gains. So, we're still working on this wisdom tooth saga over here. Hopefully by another week I should be back to, you know, be able to eat everything that I can eat. Ground turkey, chicken breast. But right now I'm just sticking to protein shakes, soft foods, soups. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you gotta do what you gotta do, guys. Until next time, I'm fixing to get this protein shake in my system now and lay it down so I can recover but guys get your power levels up <clears throat> get your gains up and uh I'm out